So I'm now back at home in Sydney, Australia, after having been overseas for a month. My wife and daughter are currently in New Zealand, visiting my wife's mother, and they're having a fabulous time. This means I'm home alone, with plenty of free time for astronomy when the sky is clear. I have a small telescope set up, and in this video, I'm just going to show you an observation that amazes me every time I see it. This is a planetarium program called Sky Safari, and this small rectangle represents the field of view of my telescope. As you can see, it is only looking at a very small part of the sky. And this is the view through the telescope. We can currently see one star, and that is using an exposure value of 0.1 seconds. What happens if we increase that to one second? We can see a few more stars. Let's increase to two seconds. We see a few more stars. What about five seconds? We can see a lot more stars. Let's try 10 seconds. I'm using remote desktop and it gets a bit laggy with these long exposures. So it's now a 10 second exposure. So there's a lot more stars. Now let's go for 20 seconds. It's now doing the 20 second exposure. It just takes a bit of time to catch up using remote desktop. All those stars are not visible to the naked eye. Even that very bright one at the center I cannot see if I go outside and look up in the sky. Yet all those stars are in this very tiny part of the sky. Going back to the planetarium program, the field of view on the telescope is just that tiny rectangle, a small part of the overall sky. What I'll show you next was an observation taken a few nights ago where Jupiter and Venus were very close together in the sky. Unfortunately, it was a bit cloudy, but I still managed to get some images allowing us to see the proximity of these two planets. So it's currently just after 4am here in Sydney, Australia on the 1st of May, and I'm looking towards the east at Jupiter and Venus in close proximity. I have the telescope tracking on Jupiter and we should see Venus moving in relation to it. There is a bit of cloud around, but I'm still managing to get some decent images. That's what I'm seeing on the computer and it is varying in exposure value as the cloud comes through. 
but we can clearly see the moons of Jupiter and there's Venus which is quite a lot brighter. Good morning, good day, you have a beautiful day. Hello, Daisy. I'm watching the dog by the end. Emma loves walking the dogs. Really? Ignore, now you're the other one. Bros. Bros. And what is this? Еще раз ей подсунь. Снова ей. Ну конечно, что ж, не уходить же с листком. Молодец! Вот и все. Эмуля. Скажи, Дэдди, hello. Дэдди, hello. Руку поставила и назвала. Давай еще раз. Кнопка. Вот кнопка, Эмма. Вот. That's the lighting in my mother-in-law's house. Yeah, they're clearly miserable without me. <laughs>